Hey you guys, I'm back. I know it's been a couple weeks, but I have a story to tell with this finger, mm -hmm. which is why I've been gone so long. <laughs> See, um, my dogs were outside in the yard sniffing something. See my camera lady and my other one down here, they're gonna laugh in a second because it's funny. It wasn't funny at the time, but it's funny. So my dogs were in the yard. I was out at the coop checking for eggs. And it's funny because I was recording that at the time. So I could post that and everybody could see that. So I'm like, what are the dogs sniffing? What is that over there? So I stopped the video. I go over there to go see what the dogs were sniffing. When I bent down to whoosh, whoosh, the dogs away, the little tiny um, squirrel, it was mad. So it grabbed onto this finger and it wouldn't let go. And I was going like this everywhere to get rid of the squirrel. <laughs> it was hanging on for dear life onto my finger. <laughs> um, so I had to call my husband at work and we had to go to the hospital and get that taken care of. Um, and it had to heal kind of somewhat. So we're, and I, I, I honestly, I didn't want to do a video because I was definitely afraid I was going to turn into like one of those zombies on like the Walking Dead show. So I wanted to make sure that I was just going to be like still here and like okay after everything so yeah the hospital people they took really good care of me so i'm back so now we're going to start the wreath and again so i'm very very sorry about that that's what happened so um today i'm going to teach you a new method um my daughter and i call this the poof method you can use this with anything any kind of um fabric you'd like today i'm using jute mesh you can use regular mesh um, you can even use regular burlap with this too. It's really cool. So I'm going to do this as simply as possible so you guys can learn and then you can adjust the wreath on your own however you like it. Um, it, it is pretty simple, the basics, um, what I'm going to teach you. So I'm going to start on the outer form, outer part of the wreath form. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this burlap mesh to here, to these two pieces into here and then we're gonna we're gonna do the ex, the whole exterior part of the wreath form before we even begin on the inside so i'm just showing you that real quick so what you want to do is you want to take your um your burlap mesh whatever fabric that you're working with you are gonna take the ends and start at one end and just kind of start bundling it up here go like this okay and then squeeze your little end here take your little fuzzy stick guy here and attach it to one of the ends. Doesn't matter where you start on the out exterior part of the wreath form, just pick a spot. Any spot's great. What you wanna do is you wanna squeeze, you wanna turn that twist tie, you wanna push down right here as, as tight as you can and squeeze and gently, of course, and then twist once and then pull it back, stand it straight up like that. Now that's that's perfect because you're gonna later on we're gonna twist it more and tie it tight and wrap it around to finish it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start making your poofs now, okay? Um, some people you like to use rulers or measuring tapes. They like their poofs exactly a certain length and they want it to be absolutely perfect. I on the other hand like like what it looks like um, when you just kind of make the wreath. <laughs> you go with the flow. To me, it looks a little bit more fun and more natural. So I'm making a poof here and I'm doing what I did at just the very beginning and I'm squeezing this and coming over here and squeezing my piece again. Just hold it up here and see if you like it. See if you like, if it's big enough poof, it, you can adjust it that way. Hold it up here. I think I'm gonna go a little bit bigger. Just a little bit, perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold that here and grab my fuzzy stick. Fluffy, fluffy, fuzzy stick. Look guys, I still have my finger and I'm not a zombie. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Okay, so grab your fuzzy stick here, hold it here. And again, we're gonna hold down and just twist. Down, twist once and then just like that how's that perfect 
Let's do one more loop together and then I'll let you guys go to do the whole outer ring, okay? Back here. And then we'll meet back up and do the center part. So here I'm squeezing this back together, just like this. Squeezing this together, not enough for me. So let's adjust the loop a little bit more, okay? And again, you guys can measure. You can use a measuring tape or a, um, a ruler too. I kind of like them even if they're a little bit uneven. I'm gonna take that down just a little bit. Let's see. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'll hold it there, grab my fuzzy stick guy here. Push her back up here. Perfect, you guys. Hold it down with one finger tightly. Twist once and hold it back up here. Right here, get in here, and these were our in between our fuzzy sticks. That's where we're gonna put all of our ribbon later as well. So that's why we're holding these, these guys up here. And I have darker ones because that's all I've got right now. So, but they also make the fuzzy sticks in this color too. So you guys keep doing, keep doing your poofs, as I call them, and go all the way around the exterior, the outer part of the wreath form. And then I'll meet back up with you and we'll go, I'll, I'll teach you how to go from the center, or from the outer to the center. See you in a few. Okay, we, I have finished the exterior part of the wreath form. And I wanted to show you guys you, so you're going to get to here, and you're probably going to go, okay, now what do I do? What we're going to do is we're going to do our last poof, and where we began, we're going to twist this back open, and we're going to put our last poof in here. So that way, you don't have to add another fluffy thing, fluffy stick. You don't have to add another one of these. We're just going to put open this up, make our poof, and put it right back in here. And then I'm going to show you how to go and transfer this without cutting into the center. So that way you don't even have to cut your roll of anything, whatever fabric that you're working with. Okay, so here we go. Let's make our last poof on the outer part of the wreath form. Wrong. Make sure I'm using the proper words here. <laughs> okay, so. There we go. Hey, look, you know, my finger was hurting all the way up until recently. And now it's not hurting anymore. So that's good. Make sure you like your poof, you know, mess around with it. Okay, here we go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna untwist this carefully and hold it while I put this in here, okay? And hold it tight, hold this down and twist it back up. Twist this twice, you guys, because it's your beginning and your end twist it back up okay so now we have our entire exterior part of the rung done here's what you're gonna do take your roll here okay hold on to it I like to sometimes put it underneath my chin because it gives me more of a grasp and you're gonna move all of this over here and twist it and pull it kind of to the center, okay? So now you've pushed all your burlap mesh into the center. Put your roll back down beside you. Now, now we're doing the center part of the wreath form. Grab your Poof, 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 poof it. Do you like it? Check to see if you like it. Oh, too big. Adjust. This is where some, like I said before, some people don't like to do this. They actually like to measure it themselves. So they know it's absolutely perfect. You would think that would be me because I'm, I am like a perfectionist with a lot of stuff, but I just, um, I like this stuff more natural and more kind of like go with the flow type dealio. 
So here's my first poof on the inside, on the interior rung, you guys. Here's what it looks like. And I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna um, do this all the way around here, 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 and here. And I'm gonna let you guys go while we do that. I'm gonna go all the way to here, okay? Now you guys do that and connect all your poofs to each one. Now remember, you wanna wrap it around both bars. We have four, four bars here, okay? So when you do the outer, you're gonna wrap around these two. When you do the inner, you're gonna wrap around these two. So here's from the inside, okay? Now I'm gonna finish the whole inside perfectly and then we'll go after that beyond that we'll do our decorating and things like that so see you in a few okay so here we are we finished our last poof you guys here's here's where I'm at okay here's your the rest of your fabric or whatever you're using so what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors and we're gonna bunch it up in our in your hand and cut the rest of it off right here just like that okay so you see you have this little bunch here what we're gonna do let's take our little fuzzy stick cut some more off okay and take your bunch and take it underneath the poof next to it just like this and tie it down, wrap it around and tie this down behind you. A little tight, okay? Twist tight as close as, as you can to the bar. That way it, it stays, it's fitted, okay? Here's your wreath, I'll hold it up for you. You just did that. See how easy that is? You can make it more difficult or as easy as you want. This, I picked this one for you guys because it's pretty simple to begin with. <clears throat> um, now we're going to decorate it together. I have lots of standard poodles, so I love poodles. Um, so I decided to make a poodle wreath today. My sign is an MDF sign. And I'm going to end up putting this here in the middle. I'll end up hanging it in the middle. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you guys just a little way that I put ribbon in. Um, now, each one of these ribbons is 13 inches long. Okay? I measured and pre-cut everything prior so that way it would help you a little bit. And I could just kind of hold it up and explain it. Each one is 13 inches long. And what I did with my ribbon is I cut, I cut the end. See these two ends? I cut all the ends into a row. It's so pretty. But what I'm gonna show you how to do real quick is cut your 13, you guys you don't have to do 13 inch pieces. You can do 12 inch, 13 inch, 14 inch pieces of ribbon and you can also mix all three. Okay, all three different sizes. You could do the largest on the bottom and vice versa, you know. So um, there's no right or wrong way. But to get this corner end that I have here, what I do is I fold my ribbon in half and I hold it and then I cut just like this. And you open it up and you're cut. See, I fold the other end. And I like to hold the ends towards me so I know that they don't move. A lot of people go from the center and they cut this way. <laughs> and that's fine. I'm not wrong. They're not right. I'm not wrong. Whatever. Easy going. So that is how we cut our how I cut all my ribbons. Like I said, I have pre-cut all of them. Um, and I'm gonna do the largest on the bottom, and then the other two on top. What I'm doing is I'm gonna layer these three. I'm gonna fold this in half so I know where the center of the ribbon is. Go like this, open it back up. 
Now squeeze, starting in the middle, and bunch the ribbon together, okay? Bunch it together like this, so you know it is perfectly in half, okay? Like I said, you guys, there's not other people that are right, you're wrong, it doesn't, however you do it is totally perfect. Okay, so here's where I come in and I set my ribbon in here. It's a lot of ribbon, so you wanna hold it down pretty, pretty gently here. Now you're gonna squeeze this tight while you're holding down, twist twice. Then here, you're gonna pop your ribbon up just like this. This is all wired, so it's gonna help us. We're gonna move it around later. So now you have your ribbon attached just like that. Now what I'm gonna do for right now is, ooh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do every other one. I'm gonna put ribbon here, I'm gonna skip here, and I'm gonna put ribbon here now. I'm starting with the outer. I always tend to start with the outer rungs. Not sure why. Habit, maybe? Okay, so I'm grabbing all three of my ribbons. I'm starting with the larger ribbon on the bottom medium in the middle, and then the skinnier on the top, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend this in half, fold it in half so you know where your half is, you know? Open it back up, and then we're gonna bunch in the middle. Hold tight, hold firmly. That's the word I was looking for, ha! Ah! Oh, did I just snort? Okay. Okay, I'm doing every other one. Okay, back to this, okay. Hold your ribbon down tight. Hold firmly now, okay? Because you, you want it to be a fitted, attached fittedly. And then twist a couple times. And then hold this back up. Okay. Okay. All right, that, that's on pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna switch and go over to here on the outer one. Okay, so I'm gonna do that again. Take my three, match them up. Oh, oops, a daisy. Okay, fold them in half. Oh, we got kiddos at the door. Fold them in half. Make sure they're even. And then come back down here. Oh, so you gotta bend them right in your hand because if not, they'll give you a run for your money. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in here. My allergies are bothering me today. Okay, now hold this. Push down kind of firmly there. I love it. I love doing this. Okay. I love it. It's looking pretty. Looking pretty, y'all. Okay, you got a firm there. Okay, so now I'm going to start. It goes on the shirt there. Now I'm going to start going in on the interior, okay? Skip every other one on the interior. Fold them in half, remember. And put them on this way. Some thick ribbon. I had to pick, huh? Now, on the inside, you guys, I'm gonna start on the opposite side of where I skipped on the outside. Okay, so I did here, here. So I'm gonna, on the interior part of the rung, I'm gonna start here. It's 4.30 and my standard poodles know I feed a raw diet and they know it's almost dinner time so they're out there telling me, mom, it is 85 outside and it is beautiful. It is, the sun is out and we want to go eat a half hour early is what they're telling me. They want mommy to take them and feed them right now. But I promise they will get fed at five o'clock, like normal. Okay, 
So like I said, I'm gonna do every other one here that I didn't do on the exterior. Moving it over to here, because I skipped that one on the outer rung. So I'm gonna put this one here. Okay. Remember to pull tight. My five-year-old is in here and he's being very quiet and very good right now, you guys. Like a good boy. Okay, have one more to do right here. And then we're gonna open them up and see how they all look. Now I have more cut just in case. But I'm gonna finish her up here. Just a lot of burlap for them. I know I've already said that, you guys, and I snorted. Only when I'm in a really good mood. My husband just laughs. <laughs> Funny guy. Okay. Okay. Okay, you guys. What we, what I'm gonna do um, for right now? Did I do that right? Okay. Yeah. Every other one. Every other one. Perfect. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go take these. Okay, see your pieces here? Now that we zoom back out, so now you can see what I'm, what I'm gonna about to show you. So you're gonna take your two fuzzy pieces, the ends, and you're gonna stick them back through here. The ones that you've worked with, you're gonna stick them back through here, okay? Because you've already twisted them now. Here's my back. Here's where I, I stuck them through there. There's the front again. Now what we're going to do, we're going to come back here and we're going to twist them as tight as we can. Twist, 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 twist. Cut off your access pieces and then wrap it around your reform what the little piece that's left so it's nice and fitted and very tight so it can't go anywhere okay okay so that's what the front looks like now when we're all done i'm going to show you what to do with the ribbon but right now what i want you to do is go around to everywhere we've done and take your pieces and put them back through the back and hold them down tight pull them down fittedly Okay, your ribbon might move a little bit and twist them and tie them down and tie them down tightly. Okay, do all of that and then I'm going to show you, come back, I'm going to show you how to separate them. How to separate our ribbon and make it look really pretty. Okay, you guys, so I have gone all the way around the wreath now and I have tied back every single um, little fuzzy stick onto the back. So it looks like this, front looks like this. I haven't touched the ribbon yet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sit up a little bit higher here. What I'm gonna do is, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start spreading the ribbon. You're gonna make an X with the ribbon, okay? So I'm gonna take two pieces and make an X with it and pull it apart. And the opposite side, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take the opposite colors and pull and make an X, okay? So then you take how, however many ribbons you have, this is what you're gonna do it with, with all of them. So you're gonna make an X with your ribbon, just like this, just like this, and pull it as tight as you can. Okay, go around your wreath and start doing that, making X's, we'll do that together. Together, together. Sometimes you have to pull tight, sometimes you have to pull hard. 
make it look like an X. X marks the spot. Okay, do that here again. Must be dinner time, I'm hungry. Gotta go cook dinner. Gotta go cook dinner. Okay. You know how they say people that talk to themselves are more intelligent? Uh -huh. Let's hope so. Because if not, I'm just plain. Almost done making X's here, y'all. Almost done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my sign in. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Tug tight. Tug tight. Oh, my God, it's dry. My allergies, and I'm driving me crazy. My eyes and. Everything's blooming down here in South Florida. It's spring here already. Spring is spring. It was 85 today. Doggies are quiet. That's never a good thing when you have a whole group of them. <laughs> it's kind of like my flock of chickens. When they're quiet, you have to go out there and see what's going on. Okay, so if anything looks funky, what you're going to do is this. Oh, God, I have itches. Um, what you're going to do is just fix them, fix the ribbon, adjust the ribbon. You guys can make a bow. I have a pro bow maker. I can, I can, we can do a couple bows together if you'd like sometime. So adjust your bows, your, your ribbon. And then what I am going to do, you can add as much or as little ribbon as you'd like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add my poodle sign today. Okay? My, um, I am going to add that with one of my little fuzzy sticks. Here is what the ribbon looks like. Let me spread it apart. What do you guys think? I'm going to add my, my poodle sign today. You guys did this. Pretty simple, huh? And you guys can add tons more ribbon if you'd like. Okay, with the nose itching, it can stop now. What the heck? You know? Okay, so let's put this in. We're gonna do it together, y'all. Together. Okay, I'm gonna set it here. Some people like to glue theirs, some people like to hang them. Some people like to do both. Just depends. And then you'll kind of mess with it a little. I'd like to remind you guys that Unique Home by Trisha is a place where we do lots of fun stuff. Not just wreath making. But we garden. I garden together with you guys. Like I said, just move your ribbon around as you're working, you know. And you can add tons more than I did, y'all. You really can. Don't be afraid of it. Go get it. And mess with your sign. As you put it together. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Unique Home is a fun place, you guys. I'm about to go outside. And, um... Oh, my knee. I'm about to go outside and stain my brand new garden. Oh, I'm so excited to talk to you guys about the garden. I'm about to stain my um my pine garden. I didn't I didn't use a um cedar wood this year. I just um I wanted a larger garden, so okay, I'm just gonna have to mess with this once I get it put on. Okay, so here I have it up here 
in here with my little fluffy zip tie thing. And I'm tying it tight to the back. And then when you get done, you can adjust the sign to however you want it. I'm trying to get a smile out of my camera lady. <laughs> Okay, so what I was saying, so anyway, you'll have to come along with me. I'm gonna have my camera girl follow me. I'm gonna teach you how, how to stain a garden with coffee. It's gonna be a fun ride. Okay, so see, I tighten that tight there so you can't see it. So what you're gonna do is bring your wreath around to you and you're gonna pl play with it, adjust it, Adjust your ribbon. Eek, I'm excited. You guys. Oh, you guys. You did this. Oh, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. You did this. We did this. We did this. I love it. I love it. I love it. it up before I show you. Here we go, you guys. This is the final touch to our house. Is not a home without a poodle. Now you guys can add a ton more ribbon or least as, as you want. It just, it doesn't matter. I always tend to go back. I hang it on the wall and I'm like, more ribbon it needs a bow it needs more decorations it just needs this it needs that that's fine too play with it that's what I taught you this for so you can mess with it and do whatever you want it's fun right thanks for coming and remember stay close by get on YouTube and hit that subscribe button to unique home by Trisha okay and don't forget about my Etsy store every single thing that you see behind me that I have created is on my Etsy shop at Unique Home by Trisha. Um, yeah, feel free to grab anything here that's available that's left or even message me through Unique Home. I can create anything for you or do a video, whatever you'd like. So um, yeah, stay close by and hit that subscribe button. Now I'm going outside to go stain my, uh, my, new, <laughs> my new garden with some coffee. Let's go do this together. Bye.